I think council has been dealing with the impacts of deer now for probably close to a decade and it was very ad hoc at the start. It's probably only been the last three years when we've been able to collaborate better with other agencies like our local land services and develop methods like the, the panning and then the management of the deer in an urban setting, which is easier to manage our budget and easier to qualify our outcomes at a, a cost benefit relationship to the to rather than just having staff randomly trying to herd deer up against the hill and have someone shoot them and you know the risk to the staff, the risk to the deer, the risk to there not being a humane killer all too great. So I'd say that the last four years I is about right that we've been working closer and the technologies are improving in the way we can manage deer. Once again, you're trying to deal with the you know, landscape management of a pest that's transient and it requires a collaborative effort from all agencies to work together. And um, you know, we're a relatively small player as council in the control of deer. We have very limited tenure where we can undertake control, but we have really high concern because obviously 100% of the residents pay us rates. And so I feel obligated to to be transparent with them about our activities, but collectively, the only real way we're gonna to start to manage this impact is as all agencies working collaboratively. When we're trying to undertake control on a landscape level with all the agencies working together, one of the ways that the community can best get involved in supporting us is to try and record their sightings through the Feral Scan app or contact local land services or Department of Primary Industries or even council. The more sightings we can capture, the better our data set, the better we understand the movement of the deer and the better we can understand where we can undertake management control actions to lessen the impact. It's really important if you are seeing deer, regardless of if they are impacting you or not, it is important to report. It allows us to get large scale picture of what is happening. We might receive one or two reports from one location and then five k's down the road or even a k down the road, there might be another person who is getting a lot more impacts. And then we can roughly estimate how far these deer are traveling. Are they the same individuals? And go from there with potential control options or monitoring further. We know it's important for communities to come together when there are disasters happening around them. And just like natural disasters, pest animals needs to be part of that conversation, part of that community as well, because by neighbours talking to each other and people talking down the street or at the shops about their sightings, about their experiences, it gets more people involved as well as showing people how to use the feral scan app then and there. If you have any pest animal concerns or you are seeking advice around pest animals, particularly feral deer, give us a call, have a chat to us. We can certainly point you in the right direction, show you different resources that you might be able to have a read of and gain some more understanding about how feral deer work. I really want the community to know that, that we are really making a concerted effort. It is difficult, it is constrained. Um, all agencies are open to be able to talk to the community about what we do and, and how we do it. We're following the lead of some clever work that local land services have put together in the strategies that we can use. But fundamentally, if the community can get on board and, and report as much as they can through the Feral Scan app, that data is invaluable for us to sort of speak to the problem socially, politically, economically. Get hold of the app and record your sightings because that's absolutely invaluable for the whole, all the agencies to work together. I do understand that not everyone's technologically abled or even concerned. Um, for those residents, please contact local land services, DPI or your local government area and they can record the sightings on your behalf. Yeah, I think ultimately uh, when it comes to uh, this issue, um, you know, it affects our business. Uh, I don't expect government to come out and um, you know, control it for us on our farm. So I think we can work in conjunction with our local land service and other agencies to address this issue. I don't think we can simply put our hands up and say, oh, well, you know, get rid of the problem for me. Um, but I think also it's important to work with neighbours and get a number of landholders in an area um, to control the problem because no point us controlling it and then someone else um, nearby um, just having a, um, no control measures in, in place at all. Um, so I think working with neighbours, uh, working with the department and also had contractors out as well, uh, looking to cull numbers as well. Um, so, you know, there's a, a wide range of uh, tools uh, there uh, for landholders to look at. We've had other pests come and go, but this particular one 
It's disappointing to see um, how something that is introduced like that can cause so much damage, uh, not only to people's livelihoods, um, but also uh, the wider environment.